we are gonna clean this roof today using a new toy. So we are out here today doing another roof job. And as always, the north side is always the worst. Most buildup, it gets the least amount of sun. And as you can see, there is some algae buildup. And we're gonna take care of that today. All right, so we're gonna be trying something new today. This is the Super Vic Pole Tip. Say that fast three times if you can. It is by a gentleman, it was designed by a gentleman named Vic Irish. And this thing really intrigued me and I'm really happy that he sent it our way to give it a test. So we're gonna put it to use today and see how it works. What this does is it turns your water-fed pole into a soft wash pole. This thing is engineered and machined down to fit directly into a number of different water-fed poles in this scenario. It is a reach it pole. So we're gonna get this thing hooked up. And while you could connect it directly to your soft wash hose, I am going to put together a couple couplings so we can use it and also use the trigger. Uh, just something that I thought might work. But uh, ultimately what we're looking at today is how this thing performs. So I'm pretty excited. Mac, are you? Oh yes, I'm ready to see how it goes. All right. So basically what we're gonna do is I put this together. Now I'm using a little plastic nipple uh, simply because we're not using a lot of pressure and that's going to fit on there and then it's going to go straight into here. We're going to connect that up and then on the other end I'm going to use this and that's going to connect to our gun. So we can utilize the trigger of the gun and regulate the spray from the ground. All right so there it is all installed. It is on there sturdy, clamps in really nice, and looks good. So we're gonna get this thing going. So we're gonna use lemon cling as the surfactant in this mix. And just like it sounds and smells, it's lemony and it helps the stuff cling to the roof. So in theory, this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna pull the trigger. It's gonna go through the 30 foot hose up to the top and we're gonna be able to reach everything with a very nice pattern from this little guy and we'll see i'm hoping that it's going to reduce the amount of overspray so we'll see how it goes So that actually was a lot easier, I think, don't you think, than just hitting it with the long range tip or putting the ladder up and uh, spraying with the long range tip. A lot better coverage and a lot less runoff. Yeah, significantly less runoff, which is great. Obviously right here we don't have to worry about it because it's concrete, but where we do have plants, it's gonna make a huge difference. I can already see this working. The lemon cling is working great. You can see the sodium hypochlorite attacking and killing that algae. And right now I can still see a few spots that I know I'm gonna to have to retreat. So we're gonna do that right now before we move to the other side. All right, so we tried the adjustable Ryobi nozzle and couldn't get the distance. So we switched over to a long range tip that we use for our pressure washing gun, put it up there and see if we can't hit it. So this is the first section that we treated and it is looking great. I only see one or two spots that probably need some uh, touch up, which is right there. So we'll hit that, but I'm gonna wait for it to dry first to really see what happens. And then of course there's the second section and uh, let that sit. We're gonna go back and do the backside. 
so far this thing is working pretty good um just with anything you know you kind of got to i guess play it by ear call an audible every once in a while and uh, figure things out so if you guys have any suggestions on how we could have done that better leave a comment below you can really see this algae starting to change colors because it is dying. And as always, we are going to rinse our pump out and all the lines at the end of the day. You can stick that one in the water too. We got to rinse our, all of our hoses out, rinse the pump out, make sure everything is flush with fresh water. So we pulled the chemical tube from the chemical tank, dropped it into the water tank, and now we're just gonna pull the trigger on the uh, soft wash gun and let her rip. So I just noticed a couple little spots up here that could stand to be cleaned. So instead of running all the chemical back into the chemical tank and flushing it, we're just gonna use what's remaining in the 300 foot and the 300 foot of chemical hose or ag hose and the 30 foot of poly hose and put it on the roof just to give that added little bit of cleansing goodness. All right, man. So there you have it, that was a great example of what you can expect when you use the Super Vic pull tip. This thing actually is a pretty amazing little tool and it really helped uh, with this roof cleaning job. I can see us using this a lot in the future. There is a little bit of awkwardness to it when you're first getting used to it just because I think most folks are used to using a water-fed pole for cleaning windows and with this it's a little bit more cumbersome but it definitely allows you to get up closer uh, using your fan tip, a lot less runoff. We were using a seven gallon per minute pump here and we had very, very little runoff. So I think that's the biggest takeaway. It allows you to get to some places that you would normally have to maybe pull out a ladder or get up on the roof. Um, we did have to use a ladder, but this is a pretty tall roof and there were some pretty tall peaks. So, you know, it's part of the job, but this thing is awesome. I put a link in the description below um, I am not getting anything from this. I'm not getting paid, but I want you guys to know about awesome new things like this. Uh, Vic has done an amazing job. He's got a great story and you should check out his website, check out his Facebook page and uh, give this thing a try. Thumbs up here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I want you guys to hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment below. Let us know how we could have done this job better. Anyway, that's it. Have a great day. Thanks again.